What's happening? It's Joy Papers Visionary Art Group. Future Proof of America, one YouTube video at a time. Hey, today, I'm going to give y'all six hacks to help speed up, customize your Adobe Premiere Pro experience. All right. The first thing, let's talk about your workspace. All right. Your workspace should be very convenient for you guys to work fast. You know, this is pretty much my typical workspace setup. And, um, you know, it's pretty much organized to where I already know what everything is. I already know where I got to go and I can get to work, get finished quick, fast, waste no time. All right. So on my left right here, I have my project files. Right. So and I have them pretty much a, a good size so I can see everything. And I pretty much memorizes my scenes. So pretty much I got them the size of a thumbnail. So once I get the looking scrolling through them i already know what clips i got easy organized if you come over in the middle where your source is you got your source audio and effects panel um this is pretty much like your preview window for your raw files so i keep that right there and if i want to i can just left click and go over to my effects panel all right now over here i got my program program which pretty much is my timeline sequence um preview window and I keep that on the right just to play back all the effects, all the adjustments, everything I make in real time on the right. On the left, on the bottom, I got my effects panel. I keep that on the left. If I need every, anything, I just pretty much go to my effects panel, search it, or just click the drop down menus, drag and drop. I have my tab menu with some shortcuts, and I have my timeline on the bottom. So I pretty much got one, two, three, four, five, six, six screens up at all, all time. If I need the color grade, I just click on my color grade tab and I do that separate. But this is pretty much how, how I have my timeline edited. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you guys is color code your clips. Color coding your clips pretty much could help you keep everything organized. You know, your main footage can be like blue. Your B-roll could be like purple, you know, um different artist scenes can be like green you know however you want to do that you know i pretty much have mines to where my main footage is one color my b-roll footage is another color you know and everything extra is you know just a different color so let's go ahead and do that all right so what you will want to do is go to edit and go to prefaces all right and let's go to labels label color and it pretty much will give you a tab with all of your label colors. So these are pretty much all of your label colors right here. And you can change these anytime you want. You know, you can change that color to like a, a gray, a deeper purple, or blue, or whatever, a hot pink, red, you know. And you can change that, okay? But let's cancel that. Now, what you will want to do is say I've had, I have one, two, let's say these three clips are my main clips, you know, my main artist performance scene. So... For my performances scene, let's say I want to give these a color. So what you will want to do is right click on them, go to label, and let's just change this to like forest. All right. So I would know when I'm editing, you know, you know, I made a cut, made a cut right here, drag it on my timeline, it will be forest green. And I know all of the all my forest green clips will be my main footage. Let's say these right here are just some, you know. Uh, let's change this to mango. You know, these this is my B-roll scenes, you know. You know, I got my B-roll on my timeline. You know, I know everything that's mango is slow motion or B-roll footage. You get what I'm saying? And, you know, and so on and so forth. So, you can just pretty much keep doing that as much as you want. And, um, uh, let's put this lab in there. You know, you can just pretty much do that as much as you want. And... You have a colorful timeline, but everything will be color coded. You don't have to search for clips on your timeline. All right. The next tip I'm gonna show you guys is it's pretty much like a workspace tip. You know, if you got a million, you know, you got a lot of clips. Not a million, but you know, you got a lot of clips on your timeline and you want to, you know, everything is zoomed out, you know, you want to get to it fast. All right. A quick tip to zoom in is hold alt on your keyboard. And scroll your mouse went your mouse wheel upwards or downwards and you'll be able to zoom in get inside your timeline fast you know zoom in zoom out hold alt 
mouse wheel, all right? Another quick tip is short, keyboard shortcuts, all right? Pressing C, pressing C on your keyboard will give you your razor tool, you know? You can make your cuts with your razor tool. Quick, fast. You don't have to go to clicking and adjust it, then, you know, to move your clips, all right? Press C on your keyboard. Another quick another quick tip is pressing V. Alright. This is how you can move your clips. If you have your mouse on something like say you have your mouse on your razor tool and you need to move your clip, just press V. You can get and move it around. Alright. Now another thing is if you want to duplicate a clip, alright, you guys want to duplicate a clip, it's pretty much hold alt and put your mouse, left click on your mouse on the clip you want and it's drag that will duplicate that clip all right and um that's pretty much it man hopefully these tips help you guys speed up your workflow and get stuff done in a decent amount of time all right this is your papers visionary art group future proof in america one youtube video at a time we're now powering the independence man i really appreciate y'all like subscribe thumbs up leave me a comment until next time peace